Parker. We can go climbing. We can go climbing, Parker. We can go climbing. We can go climbing. We can go climbing. <laughs> You're as excited as me. Okay, guys. It's an exciting time. Finally, finally, after about three months of sticking indoors and not climbing or doing really that much, we can go climbing again. It's an incredible, incredible announcement. Many of the places in Southwestern Ontario are starting to open up and allow for climbers to come in and do their things. I swear, the, the climbing gods have done this. They just knew how much I wanted this to happen and uh, they gave it to me as a birthday present. Niagara Glen has opened up and that's the best birthday gift I could have gotten this year. So thank you to the climbing gods, Alex and Adam. We, we appreciate it. Valerie and I are gonna head out this weekend and go to the Niagara Glen to get some climbing done, to get some bouldering in. So I figured while I am getting all of this stuff out of storage and off dust wiped off of it I would go through with you guys what I normally put into my bouldering backpack when I'm going Boulder. And please guys, if there's something that I'm glaringly missing and that you love to put in your bouldering bag, throw it in the comments below. I'm happy to read it and find out what you guys put in your bags. First up is something that you would think that you would really want to throw into your backpack and it's obviously essentials for bouldering. It's shoes and a chalk bucket. Normally I don't actually put that into my backpack. I normally slide these and squish these down into my crash pad. So it kind of leaves a little bit more room in the backpack. I just wanted to clear that out of the way. Obviously I know we need shoes, and chalk. So let's throw that to the side, put it in my bouldering crash pad. All right, a couple little things that I have in the bag are tape. And that's for, you know, obviously if you have a little bit of a weary finger or some skin is starting to pull off, throw some tape around it. And that's a nice, light, easy pack. Next thing up, another small little gadget here is a brush. And that's what's used to brush chalk off the rock and keep things nice and clean for everyone else. I used to have a lot more of these, but I do have a tendency to lose them. So I think this is my last one. I definitely don't want to pay shipping and handling on a brush this big. Um, but you know, if you guys want to pay shipping and handling on it, you know, I'm, I'm thirsty for some of these brushes, so send them my way. Next up, I use this for warming up on the rock, and that is a TheraBand. <laughs> Do all sorts of different little exercises to get warmed up uh, and get some main muscle groups warmed up before we jump on the rock. So that is in the bouldering bag. Okay, this next one is actually super important and I feel like a lot of people don't throw it in their bag, but I definitely do because I like safety. First aid kit. This little thing, uh, I just picked this up from a mech. I always make sure that this is nice and accessible in the bag, usually at the top, or I have a zipper side pocket, so it'll be close to that so I can access it easily. Uh, but there's all sorts of things in here, like band-aids and pins and tape, gloves, all the goodies that you would need and you know, your stereotypical first aid kit. Oh, and in the first aid kit, uh, we added this in, but it's just a utility knife. Um, so all sorts of things in here, including a wine bottle opener, because that seems practical. So that is in the first aid kit, but definitely a must have in the bag. Okay, next up in the bag, I always throw in some type of food, whether that's gonna be, you know, snacks, uh, little chocolates and granola bars and or protein bars or if I'm gonna be out for a longer day Then I will um, make sandwiches and so overall food great to have in the back Just just bring yourself some food. You know, you're gonna get hungry and hand in hand with food is water So I have a big old water bottle here again from mech uh, that I'll fill up for water for myself and a little bit for the pup more on the pup later the next essential is the guidebook a little light reading here so we're going to niagara glen this weekend here's the niagara glen guidebook that i typically use and this has got everything in it just read it it's so good it has all of your rules and regulations my permit is also in here uh, for niagara glen you do need a permit to climb so i have that just wedged in the pages here of the book i always need a guidebook because i always get super lost if i don't have one so that has maps in it and then i like to plan out you know what i'm gonna climb before i even get there and that is all in here. Okay, these next two are not necessarily climbing related things, but they are a must have for me. And that is sunscreen and bug spray. Uh, the reason that I use bug spray is because honestly guys, this is Southwestern Ontario in mid June, mosquito country, I swear. And with my sweet, sweet blood, I'm gonna get eaten alive. So it's a must have, it's not a need. It's a must have for me. Throw those two in the pack. This year, I have got some new additions to the pack that I never threw in before. We got liquid chalk and hand sanitizer. Liquid chalk, 
This one here is the flash climbing one. Um, I got this one for free, not sponsored, but I'll take a sponsorship flash if you're listening. <laughs> Liquid chalk tends to have higher alcohol percentage in it, so it's gonna keep your hands cleaner. Flash climbing one has 70% alcohol in it. So that one's going in the bag now. And I was never partial to liquid chalk before, but we're gonna give it a go. The other one is hand sanitizer, obviously kills 99.9% .9 of most germs. Asterisk. So that's going in the pack, which again, was never in the pack before, but we are in a new world, and so this is going to be used between all the climbs and all that. Try and follow the rules and regulations going on these days. Okay, I promise more stuff on the puppy dog. Here's what I pack for my little pooch, Parker. She is our designated crag dog, and she comes on a lot of adventures with us. She's a good girl. For her, I bring, obviously I have the water for her, and so with that, I have a collapsible bowl. And then normally I'll bring treats or if we're going out for like a long time, I'll bring her food with us as well. And again, that collapsible bowls for that. Uh, and then we usually bring something to keep her entertained. This time around, I grab one of these guys. Uh, it is a dogwood mesquite little bone thing. And this is all uh, natural material. So even if she leaves a chunk of it out in the woods, this is made of wood. So it will just biodegrade. And then most importantly for the dog is poop bags. Never, never leave dog sorry, uh, dog poop on the trip. Uh, speaking of bags, usually I also like to throw in uh, just a plastic bag and I use that on the way out of the crag. I'll just take a look around and see if there's any garbage lying around and help out with the leave no trace policies. So, you know, just pick up various garbage from other people. Even if you didn't leave it there, leave the place better than you found it. And then for me, this is something that probably a lot of other people aren't throwing in their pack, but I like to make these videos. And so what I'll bring with me is this case here and this houses my camera equipment. The camera that I use is the Canon an M50, that's what I'm filming on right now. Along with that, I use the Rode Micro microphone. And then for the uh, Canon M50, I am using a tripod, Joby Gorillapod tripod. In here as well, I have, you know, my extra batteries and all that stuff. There is another, uh, there's a GoPro in here as well. That's the Hero 7. Last but not least, obviously, because this is the thing that I put all this other stuff into, and that is the backpack that I bring along. What I use is this one here. It's a mountain hardware. It's called the Multi-Pitch 25. I think it's 25 liters, hence the 25. I'm honestly not ashamed to admit that I bought this purely because I like the way that it looks. I just really like the way it looks. I like the color and the material is actually really quite nice and it is uh, waterproof. The backpack is great. Fits everything that I need for bouldering. It does have a side little pocket here that you can throw your shoes into so that they can air out. And then it has a full access side pocket on this side. It is used for multi-pitch climbing um, to haul stuff up. That's what its original purpose is for. But again, I like the way it looked and I don't care. 1000 points to house vanity. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is everything that I put into my backpack when I'm going to go up bouldering like I'm going this weekend. Oh, I'm so psyched. And hence why I am packing this stuff all up like a few days in advance. <laughs> if you're interested in any of that stuff, I'm going to throw as many of the links as I can down in the description below. So check that out. I hope that you enjoyed this video, but I'm, you know, I just can't wait for you guys to come back next week when we actually do some real climbing on rocks. Real climbing, guys. I am so excited to be venturing in the great outdoors again and getting on some real rock. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, in the meantime, remember to like and comment and subscribe, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And you know, feel free to ring that bell as well. Just, just give it a ring. You know, I'm not gonna be mad at you for doing any of those things. And I'm gonna see you guys next week. All right, ciao. Hey Parker, are you ready to go climbing again at the Glen? Are you ready? <laughs>